This is my bug repellent. I've always carried it with me for all my outdoor shoot, but today, let's go. So when, when I was figuring out if I was coming to Taiwan, I seriously considered not coming back because of mosquitoes. But the world fun was too good, so yeah. I've never thought for once in my life that I would be catching mosquitoes. I've caught so many different things as a kid, like Piao Chong, Tang Lang, Zha Mong. My caps ready? Let's catch some mosquitoes. Kanazi 到。Never in my life I would have thought I would voluntarily let mosquito bite me. There were so many mosquito here, at least 10, trying to bite me, all while I'm trying to catch them. After I've caught enough, I ran as fast as I could out of that mosquito hellhole. Never would have thought I would be bringing mosquito into my own house, voluntarily. This is just crazy. Alright, now I've escaped back from that mosquito hellhole. I put them in this my end keeping box temporarily so we can look at them more clearly and see what we can learn. A thing I've always wondered about mosquito is how do they locate humans so effectively? And it turns out they have two things that help them do that. First, they have the antenna. We have hundreds of little receptors on them to help them detect things like sweat, odor, and other human smells. They also have another organ called the maxillary pelt. This thing only detects carbon dioxide, which you exhale. So these two things combined together, almost like a sonar and radar one-two punch thing, helps them locate their food. So how do mosquitoes actually suck blood? Their mouth part are made of two big parts that help them penetrate human skin. The sheath-like structure called the labium, and the needle-like part called the proboscis. This is what it looks like under the microscope. Doesn't it look super sharp? It's just so hard to believe what evolution and nature can create. When a mosquito push proboscis into your skin, the labium would pull back up and start to suck blood. It's just so cool when you find out that a picture of Taken looks exactly the same as something on a textbook. Interestingly, after mosquito have sucked your blood, they don't kick your leg to get back to the air unlike a lot of other insects. They don't want you to feel them when they are taking off. So they flap their wings instead of using their leg to get back into the air. And their wings flap at around 600 times per minute. Comparatively, an insect of similar size only flap 200 times per minute. Have you ever wondered how some days there just seems to be way more mosquitoes than other days? Turns out mosquitoes also have a routine. A research shows that during the time of the full moon, they are actually five times more active. I guess that explains why Zhongqiujie barbecue always have so many freaking mosquitoes. All right, the last thing I found out about these guys. If I ask you to name the most dangerous animal on earth, what would you say? Sharks? Bears? Turns out it's actually these guys. Mosquito carry a ton of different diseases, to name a few like Zika virus, malaria, and deng dengue de uh, fever, which I know a lot of Taiwanese people would be familiar with. And because all these diseases they're responsible for more than 75,000 deaths per year, making them one of the most deadly animals on Earth. Those are the, some of the things I learned about mosquitoes after researching about them this week. I hope you also learned some stuff from this video as well like I did. I'll see you next time.